Hey. Wait, are we recording? <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Connie. And I'm Priscilla. I'm Tignella. I'm Ashley. And I'm Kimberly. And we're going to be doing our controversial topic on the decline of morality due to the influence of media. Okay. So, welcome to our blog. Okay, I'm just a video. Okay, let's start with the first question, okay, guys? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm ready for this. <laughs> my flakes are what really is morality? It says, um, it says, um, principles concerning the distinction between right and wrong or good and bad behavior. That's what I said. Oh, well, so we're excited. But in our case, to make it simple, we're going to decide on the very general idea that morality is deciding between right and wrong. Anything to so when we ask what is morality, we also need to ask, what is media? Media is anything that comes on to a TV or a book or press or music. music. Whoa. Now media is more defined as stuff that's like broadcast to a wider audience. Yeah. Like you said, cell phones so so. can be media. Okay. No. Sometimes. <laughs> so, way, yeah. in our case, we're going to be discussing movies, books, television, music, and... I'm going to be focusing on specific morals that these forms of media have corrupted. What is the problem? Okay, our argument is that the decline in morality is due to the influence that media is playing in our lives. Okay. What is causing this? Well, I guess you could say just about everyone. So you got pretty much everyone who's in like the show business. Yes. Those people, they cater to what they think the public wants, and also the public, well, they kind of look to media to see what they want. We just like the party, like the papa party, yeah. Bang, bang! We're beautiful and dirty rich. Bang. What morals are being affected? Some of the morals that are being affected by the media include sex, relationship, dating, Gays, violence, drugs, modest, modesty versus fame, confidence, rebellion against adults, and like more, and um, religion and family structures, and um, like TV and music and all this like mass media is sort of affecting and contradicting the old ways we have with these things. Yeah, but of course not all morals are affected by. It's supposed to be a show. Maybe it's yeah. just changing. It, it, yeah. it is, which makes it more okay, which just keeps pushing it forward. So much like just wording it yeah. differently. As in, they weren't as good as they were. They weren't, didn't have more morals than us. It was more like they just put it differently. They just didn't want to offend people. I guess. Or but maybe they're thinking the same thing. People naturally have nostalgia for the past and nostalgia for like the design the G, G2 and G1. And, G yeah, G four. 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 Yeah, yeah. That's already pretty big. That's something like we use for the government, and then now it turned into the which this Pop. figurehead that is showing us what is right to wear to what well, what's acceptable. But, but even within yeah. media, there's a lot of different voices. You know. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of diversity in media, which is good. I guess. And then also you have yeah. Franklin, yeah. Franklin, yeah. Franklin, yeah. Franklin, 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 how did we get to this point? Exposure! Yes. Exposure. It was exposure. exposure. Yes. The media exposed more things to the public oh, things yeah. they've never seen before. Uh -huh. And it was able to expose more because of what we have now. Hello, computer. The internet. TV. Communicate. Today? 
through exposure yeah. because people became more used to things and became more okay with them um, and stuff. But like now when you're watching like cartoons, there's like no like show of blood or That's anything. That's true. They're also like um cuss, like they would cuss and say like stupid and stuff. And I'd be like, oh, I watched that as a small child. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I think people, they don't know what's right for the a lot of people to see. They know they're going to influence people and they don't have things come together. Are you think to me? I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
So, after thinking about this for a long time, we've come to a conclusion. Wait, there was a problem? Well, you see, the problem is that the media is now affecting mortals in a negative way. Ah, uh, what's the U.S. doing about this? Well, the U.S. is trying to help by making up ratings for, like, movies and TV shows. Like, you know, T-R-G-P-G, PG-13. So that viewer discretion is advised and, you know, that people know what they're going to be watching. And it's up to the public to decide what they're going to be watching. And what's our solution to this problem? To raise awareness in its effects and to not take it lightly because it's a really important problem that really affects society and how we live our daily lives. Just like riding a car, you can't guarantee that everyone around you is going to be a safe driver, but you yourself have to put on a seatbelt so you know. So that's why viewer discretion is really important. You have to understand and know what you're watching and spend for yourself, sort of. And that's also the reason why we need to wear awareness so that people actually know that they're being So YouTube watchers, we have something to say to you. Although the media is harmful to our morals, the media is really the only way we can fight it because that's what reaches out to most people. But don't you think that informality is never the way to go for a project? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>